Welcome to the Revealer Globe. Brief updates, subscribe and press the bell icon for update. Breaking news, an 8.4 magnitude earthquake has just rocked Luzon, sending shockwaves across the entire region and setting off a chain of events that will change lives in an instant. Authorities have issued a tsunami warning for the entire western coast, urging everyone near the shoreline to move to higher ground immediately. Imagine being jolted awake in the middle of the night by a blaring alert on your phone, your heart pounding as you try to process what's happening. This isn't a scene from a disaster movie. This is a real, urgent warning that demands immediate action and could mean the difference between life and death. Deep beneath the restless waters of the South China Sea, the Manila Trench is awakening, a colossal geological force with the potential to unleash unimaginable destruction on the Philippines. The question haunting scientists and officials isn't if disaster will strike, but when. The countdown has already begun. In a matter of seconds, the ground beneath Manila could lurch and convulse, toppling buildings and shattering the city's sense of safety. The first violent tremor is only the beginning. The true terror comes not from the earth but from the sea that follows. Phones buzz and alarms blare but for many caught off guard precious seconds slip away. Panic spreads as people scramble for safety. What starts as a gentle sway quickly escalates into a deafening roar. Walls crack, furniture topples and chaos erupts indoors. Skyscrapers groan under the strain, glass explodes onto the streets below, power lines snap, and the city is plunged into sudden darkness. Along the vulnerable coast, the ground turns to liquid swallowing roads and buildings, opening fissures that threaten everything in their path. This is the nightmare scenario that keeps Fivalk's scientists awake at night, monitoring every tremor, hoping for more time to warn the public. After the shaking, an eerie calm descends. The sea pulls back, exposing the seabed and leaving stranded fish, a silent but deadly warning of what's to come. Then a monstrous wave, born from the quake's fury, races toward the coast at the speed of a jet, unstoppable and merciless. The clock is ticking. Every second is precious. People run, desperate to reach higher ground before the wave arrives. This isn't just speculation, it's grounded in science, history, and the relentless movement of tectonic plates beneath our feet. The Manila Trench is a subduction zone, where massive plates have been locked together for centuries, building up explosive stress that must one day be released. When that stress finally gives way, the earthquake will be devastating, but the tsunami that follows could be even more deadly, sweeping away entire communities in minutes. This is the sobering reality we must confront, a threat that looms over millions of lives. This is the disaster we must prepare for, not tomorrow but today. The time to act is now. In Manila most people fear the West Valley Fault, a well-known threat that runs beneath the city's bustling streets and crowded neighborhoods. But what many don't realize is that an even greater danger lurks just offshore, hidden beneath the restless waves of the South China Sea. The Manila Trench is a vast deep scar stretching for over a thousand kilometers off Luzon's western coast, plunging down into the darkness of the ocean floor. Here, the mighty Eurasian Plate collides with the Philippine Sea Plate in a relentless grinding struggle that has shaped the region for millions of years. This subduction zone acts as the engine of destruction, driving earthquakes and tsunamis with terrifying force. For centuries these massive plates have been locked together, storing unimaginable amounts of energy, like a giant spring wound tighter and tighter with each passing year. Scientists closely monitor the trench knowing it's active and has unleashed major earthquakes in the past, some of which have left lasting scars on the land and its people. The current silence isn't comforting, in fact it's a warning sign. It means pressure is quietly building, waiting for the moment to be released. The sheer size of the trench and its alarming proximity to densely populated coastal cities make it uniquely dangerous, posing a threat to millions who live nearby. If a rupture occurs here, it could displace a monumental volume of water in an instant, unleashing a fearsome tsunami that races toward the shore. While a land-based quake is devastating on its own, an undersea megaquake brings a second deadlier wave, a tsunami that can wipe out entire communities in moments. A tsunami generated by the Manila Trench would arrive in minutes, not hours, leaving little time for warning or escape. For many, the first and only warning would be the violent shaking of the ground beneath their feet. Understanding the true nature of this hidden giant, and preparing for its potential fury, is the first crucial step toward survival for everyone in its shadow. The Manila Trench is a loaded weapon pointed at millions, an ever-present threat demanding respect, vigilance and preparedness. Imagine trying to push a massive boulder up a hill. 
Your muscles strain, the rock barely budges, and every ounce of effort seems to disappear into resistance. But as you keep pushing, pressure builds up, stored like energy in a spring. Then in an instant, the boulder lurches forward releasing all that pent-up force in a sudden burst. That's the Manila Trench, except on a planetary scale, where the forces at play are almost unimaginable. Here, the Eurasian plate pushes relentlessly eastward, trying to slide beneath the Philippine plate. But the plates are locked together, unable to move freely. For decades, even centuries, strain and stress accumulate deep underground, invisible to the eye but immense in scale. The rocks bend and deform, storing more and more energy until finally they snap, triggering a massive earthquake. The longer the plates remain locked, the more energy is stored and the more powerful the eventual quake will be. Right now, the Manila Trench has a huge slip deficit, meaning it's overdue for movement, capable of unleashing a magnitude 8.0 or even larger earthquake. When the rupture finally comes, the seafloor thrusts upward in a violent motion, displacing massive amounts of water and birthing a powerful tsunami that races toward the coast. The energy released in moments like this is staggering, equal to thousands of atomic bombs detonating at once. Seismic waves ripple through the land, shaking buildings and infrastructure, while tsunami waves threaten to inundate entire coastlines. The surface above the trench may seem calm and peaceful, but this silence is deceptive. There's often little warning before disaster strikes. Unlike volcanoes, which often give off warning signs, a locked subduction zone can remain eerily quiet for centuries, hiding its danger until the very last moment. The clock is always ticking, counting down to the next rupture, but we never know exactly when it will happen. Meanwhile, the plates keep moving, and the pressure keeps building, day after day, year after year. It's like a giant geological spring, coiling tighter and tighter, storing more energy with every passing moment. The question isn't if the spring will snap, but when. The real challenge is, will we be ready when it does? We've seen what a Manila Trench tsunami could do, Sumatra 2004, Japan 2011. In 2004, a 9.1 quake off Sumatra triggered a tsunami that killed over 230,000 people. Waves reached 30 meters, erasing entire towns. In 2011 Japan's 9.0 quake caused a tsunami that overwhelmed seawalls and triggered the Fukushima disaster. Even the best prepared nation was devastated by water, not shaking. The parallels to Manila are chilling. Long coastlines, dense populations, critical infrastructure near the sea. A Manila Trench tsunami could strike in 30 minutes or less. Engineering alone isn't enough, evacuation is key. These disasters showed the speed and force of tsunamis, and the cascading failures that follow. Vertical evacuation and moving to high ground immediately after a strong quake are essential. The ghosts of Sumatra and Japan warn the Philippines, we must listen and learn, ignoring these lessons would be unforgivable. The first sign is a low rumble, then a violent roar. High rises sway, the ground feels like water, liquefaction, buildings tilt, sink or collapse. On the streets, chaos erupts, cars toss, transit lines buckle, bridges fail. Power and communication grids collapse, plunging the city into darkness and silence. Dust fills the air, fires break out, and water mains rupture. Informal settlements crumble, trapping families. Narrow alleys become death traps. Fires rage unchecked through dense neighborhoods. Hospitals are overwhelmed, rescue efforts hampered by destruction. Manila is paralyzed and cut off. The shaking ends, but the true test of survival is just beginning. For coastal Luzon, the earthquake's end is just the beginning. The sea retreats, exposing the seabed, a deadly warning. The tsunami arrives not as a single wave, but a relentless series of surges. The first wave may not be the largest, later ones can be deadlier. Water smashes into communities, inundating low-lying areas and historic districts. The port and infrastructure are annihilated. Water rushes up rivers, flooding far inland. It's not clean water, it's a toxic, debris-filled battering ram. From the moment shaking stops there may be only 20-30 minutes before the first wave. Survival is a race against time, no waiting for official instructions. If you feel a long strong quake near the coast, assume a tsunami is coming, don't wait, run. Head for high ground or upper floors of reinforced buildings. Your life depends on immediate action. The water is unforgiving, it will not wait. Preparedness is a mindset, not a one-time act. Your survival blueprint starts at home, before the quake. Practice drop, cover and hold on. Make it muscle memory for your family. Secure your space anchor heavy furniture, strap down electronics and secure gas appliances. This prevents injuries and reduces fire risk. Every household needs a go bag with essentials for 72 hours. 
water, food, flashlight, whistle, first aid kit, dust masks, wrench, documents, and personal necessities. Store it where you can grab it fast. Create a family emergency plan, two meeting places, an out-of-town contact, and clear instructions for everyone. Write it down, discuss it, and make sure everyone knows what to do. You may not be together when disaster strikes. This plan is your roadmap to safety. Preparedness saves lives. Start now. Survival is a team effort. Community drills are essential. Regular realistic earthquake and tsunami drills build collective muscle memory. Drills must include drop, cover, and hold on, plus evacuation along marked routes to high ground. Practicing these routes reveals problems before a real crisis. Public education is key. Everyone must know the warning signs and evacuation zones. Local governments must inform residents in local languages. Know your neighbors. Help those who may need assistance evacuating. After disaster, your first rescuers are your neighbors. Organize community response teams trained in first aid and rescue. A community that drills together becomes a shield against catastrophe. Together, we are stronger. The Manila Trench threat is real and immense. Fear can paralyze or motivate, let it drive action. We can't stop the plates, but we can change the outcome. Preparedness is our power to save lives. This is a call to action for everyone, students, parents, business owners, officials. Preparedness is a shared responsibility. A modern Bayani hand. Don't let knowledge become anxiety. Let it spark action. Take one step today. Anchor furniture, pack a go bag, talk to your family. Small actions multiplied by millions create resilience. We must build a nation that's not just aware but prepared. The Manila Trench is a ticking clock. We don't know when it will strike, but we can choose our story. Will it be tragedy or resilience? Let's turn fear into action and be ready.